Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in the beautiful Cotswolds. We've got some very noisy birds here to welcome us. It's a really nice day, it's sort of on and off rain, which is what I came to England for personally. None of that sun. I don't want it on my bodice. The plan for today is to do a little bit of shopping. There's a particular boutique that I really want to go to. It's called Holland Cooper. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I've talked about this brand because it's very classic British fashion. So I'm really excited to actually go to their boutique and try some things on. And then yeah, just have a little bit of a peruse around the Cotswolds <laughs> and hopefully not eat my hair, <laughs> okay. We've made it to Holland Cooper Boutique. It's in this really cute little farm shop area. We might have to go do some farm shopping after yeah, this. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's go in and explore. I really am excited to try some things on. Yeah. That's so you. Yeah, that's really cute. My god, here, look at these gillets. <laughs> that's a Norse July. Little polo. Polo. Stop it. There's so much here. It's very extensive. I'm just really living my horse girl fantasy right now. <laughs> They got all the sticky stuff on them. Yeah, they are very like grippy. They're like actually I'm on a horse. Yeah, you gotta grip onto that popo. -po. <laughs> I mean, wow. Your glamour's on. Glamour's on. I need to put like the shades on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at the legs from the side view as well. Yeah. See what that does to your legs. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, they're meant for a for a heel. They really are. They're gorgeous. Those are really flattering jeans. They are. Wow, I feel like a boss woman. Yeah. I feel like I own fifty percent of this company. Fifty one percent, isn't it? Yes, fifty one. I own fifty one percent. <laughs> That blazer is really nice. I really love the blazer. Ah. Love the blazer. Am I making you horny, baby? This it is what this is saying. Like. It's the hair too, because we like, put the blazer. Ladies and gentlemen, Burt Backrack. This is what this blazer and this like this is giving here. Yeah. <laughs> I need it made. So Piers just tried on this. The it's trench. Wales. Let's stand back a little bit so we can get the full beige. It's graphite with Prince of Wales. And I love that the hardware is gold. And also this is boutique exclusive. So yeah. she can only get it here. Or because this one's not her size, get it made for her and sent to her. Yeah. And I've tried on this blazer with a little bit more of a casual. And it still looks good. <laughs> Still looks really good. Now P is debating, does she want this trench coat or the gray one? It's really tough to see. I just want to be Kate Middleton so bad. <laughs> All right, well, we literally just spent two hours, two hours in that store. They were so nice. They were really lovely. Charlotte helped us out for two hours. Yes. <laughs> and they were just like offering us champagne. And they kept bringing us uh, and... different coats and blazers to try on. He was umming and ahhing, and then what did you decide in the end? So I was uh, umming and ahhing, and I chose the Kate Middleton coat. I almost chose a beautiful graphite coat with the Prince of Wales check on it, but I just nice. thought I can find a graphite coat elsewhere, and I'm not going to find 
Yeah, you're never going to find that cake tart yeah. anywhere else. So Peter did very well I did. with that. I was a bit more simple. I got some really nice blue jeans, um, the long ones that have flares at the bottom because I find it really hard to find jeans that are long enough. So when I do find them, I have to get them. And then a really nice cream jumper that I can wear with lots of things. Good morning. <laughs> it's the next morning and we've woken up unseasonably early. <laughs> yes. For us at least. Um, because we're actually checking out today, but the village that is just next to our village, a 10 minute walk away, is actually where they filmed parts of the 2020 adaptation of Emma. So I dragged poor Pierre out of bed, put on my Doen dress, not exactly Regency, but gives the vibes, done my hair in a sort of Regency fashion, and I dragged Pierre along to try and get some content. You know what? We're here. We may as well. So we're trying to rush and do this before breakfast. So this is the village of Lower Slaughter in the Cotswolds. And this is the location that they used for Highbury in the 2020 version of Emma. I'm trying to keep my voice down a little bit because it is early in the morning and I don't want <laughs> someone who lives here coming out and being like, shut up, I'm trying to sleep. Um, it's just gorgeous here. I mean, I can see why they chose it as Highbury. So let's take you over to where, oh, actually I want to show you first. This is the bridge in the movie where the schoolgirls with the red cloaks like march across. Um, I think they painted it like a blue color for the actual movie, but I did bring my red jacket, which isn't a cloak, but I'll show you. And we're going to recreate the marching across. I came prepared, look. <laughs> yeah, got it. Slightly cringy, but you know what? I'm here, I'm gonna walk across in my red jacket. All right, now if we go further over here into town, I mean into town as in like literally 50 meters down the road. <laughs> Those local ladies are like severely judging me, but that's okay. I'm sure they get this all the time. Okay, so this is the Lower Slaughter Town Hall, and this is the location that they use for the haberdashery in the movie where a lot of the action takes place. That doesn't happen in the book, but in <laughs> the adaptation it does. By the way, I have to be that really annoying person and say the 2020 version is not my favorite adaptation for multiple reasons. I could actually write a manifesto on this. But we have to admit, visually, it's stunning. And so this is where they did the haberdashery. They come in and out. I'll get you to go over there in a minute here and like do the shot from across the water, which they do. Yeah. Oh, there's a car coming. Get off the road. And there are some film locations from the 2020 adaptation of Emma. I hope that you enjoyed exploring around a little bit with me. Um, and I think I'm gonna leave this Cotswolds vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy today's video, please remember to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.